Hello there! Welcome to our Craft Stash live broadcast. I'm your crafty host, Jeanette Lane. How are you? So happy to be back. We took a break last Friday for the Easter weekend, the Easter holiday. So I hope you all had a good break. Hope you've been keeping crafty. We are super excited for today because we're celebrating Craftwork Cards six month anniversary at Craft Stash. So if you are not familiar with Craftwork Cards, they are this just like top quality, sophisticated brand that has been around for over 20 years. But uh, we partnered with them and they became exclusive to Craft Stash. So we're really excited to be celebrating six months with Craftwork Cards and we have mega discounts, mega deals, and also a ton of prizes. We have six prizes to give away, valued at over 200 pounds. So excited for you guys. And uh, five of those, sorry, five of the six chances to win are gonna be live during the broadcast. So make sure to tag your friends so that they can join in on the fun. Uh, but also we want them to catch the replay in case they're working or they can't make it uh, to the live broadcast. They can still win after the show all weekend long up until Sunday midnight on the Craft Stash blog, we have another uh, prize bundle to give away. So super excited for prizes. I'm going to be checking in on YouTube while Shauna checks in on Facebook to make sure that everything's going well on that side. Good, thumbs up from Shauna. Say hi, Shauna. Hello. Uh, so yes, yeah, so let me make sure everything's going good on YouTube, YouTube land. I'm seeing it's live. Yay! Hello! Hello! Okay, so on YouTube we have Pooja, Lisa Turner, Donna Robertson, Louise Noer. Ooh, who is uh, Louise is watching on holiday in Turkey. Thank you for taking the time instead of, you know, sightseeing <laughs> to just hang out with us. And Mrs. Stationery and stuff, aka Laura. Hi Jeanette, hope you had a lovely Easter. Um, Mary Smith says hello all. So yeah, keep the comments coming. I will tell you how to enter that giveaway in just a bit. And let's say hello to some people on Facebook. What did you all do for Easter? I hope you had had a good time. Shauna was hiking. Huh, Shauna? Mm -hmm. All right, saying hello to some people on Facebook. Hello, hi, Vicki Meyer, who's watching from Texas. Hello. Are we announcing the um, the U.S. site? <laughs> Is it live? It's live. So <laughs> for our, our ooh, all our American friends, we wanted to announce the U.S. Craft Stash website, which is now live, so you can see uh, all the prices and all the pro products with like U.S. dollar prices, which is really helpful. So the address for that is is craftstash.us. Yeah. Craftstash.us, so easy. So check that out if you are watching from the States. We've got Jeanette Hanley, Angela Tagub, Emma Smith, Jenny Stock, Tara Gurian, Shelly Yaldin, Shirley Ramsey, Mandy Kavanaugh, Carol Dick, Adele Lee Collins, Maria Huss, you made it Maria, hello. Uh, Becky Holiday, um, Sarah Craddock, says, hey, new to viewing live as I'm usually at work. So happy to have you, Sarah. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Kirsty Frisbee waves. Hi, Kirsty. <laughs> uh, Jen, J Jane Hag, uh, she's so excited to be watching. I feel like you haven't watched in a long time, Jane. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> uh, Siobhan Winfendale. Hi, Siobhan. Uh, Roberta, Annette M. Smith. So many people watching. Hooray! Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. And Elizabeth Hogarth says, Hello, Jeanette. I have shared this broadcast onto the Craftwork Cards fan page. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. And Elizabeth is part of the Craftwork Cards design team. All right, so lots of prizes to, to give away. <laughs> Kate Baker says, Love Craft Stash. I spend too much every time I go on the website. <laughs> That's not intentional. We just we just want to give you deals, and we have some great deals. So again, like I mentioned, we're celebrating six months with Craftwork Cards at Craft Stash. Exciting! So we wanted to do like a quick recap to jog your memory because there have been so many collections, gorgeous collections, and there are mega discounts in honor of our six months with Craftwork Cards. Mega discounts on the website on pretty much 
all Crawford cards except the latest release, which is Best Day Ever, which was just this past weekend on Hechanda. So maybe you caught our Paula Pascual there presenting um, the latest Crawford card release, but all the previous collections are super discounted. Make sure you head to the website to get all those deals. And I'm just gonna show you some of them to recap. <laughs> There's so many uh, products here. <laughs> Just to recap all the beauty that Craftwork Cards has brought us. All right, so let us know if you remember when we first launched the Ultimate USB Drive. So I'm gonna show that on the close-up. So this one is jam-packed, packed, overflowing. I don't have all the printouts for this because if you printed out everything that's in the USB drive, it's like this thick. So originally the USB, Ultimate USB was $44.99, but it is 50% off right now at $22.50. And the great thing about having a USB is that you can just keep printing forever, forever, ever, until the end of time, keep crafting. And along with that, we also have the other sophisticated USB. That's so cute too, gotta show that up close. And this one was $27.99 but now it is 14 pounds. Super crazy deals, guys. So 50% on the, 50% off on the USBs. Let me put these somewhere so I don't forget where they are. All right, so one of the first collections that we released uh, with Craftwork Cards was the Violet Tea. Let us know if you remember that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, stunning pastels, beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous paper pad. You get uh, some toppers as well. Stunning. And the um, there's 25% off currently off these uh, complete collection bundles. So they come with the paper pad with card stock, coordinating card stock, and also some lovely toppers. Oop, I've used that one. <laughs> some gorgeous toppers. Tea themed. Love it. Beautiful, beautiful. These have been uh, hand watercolored, hand drawn and watercolored. Gorgeous, stunning. So make sure to check those out. Check out that discount. And it also comes, the collection also comes with some candy, which I want to say it's like a paper enamel dot. So let me show those because Crawford Cards is famous for their candy. Lots of different colors available. Beautiful. And then also with the Violet Tea Collection, we had an embossing folder and also a stamp die combo. Now you can get the complete collection for 25% off, but if you also wanted to just get the uh, stamp and die combo, sorry, that's a little wonky there. <laughs> that packaging got a little crazy when we were going up the stairs. Sorry guys. Uh, so yeah, you can get a 25% off also on the die stamp combos. Deals on deals, guys. Don't miss out. So just head to the Craft Stash website, and I think there is a banner that you can click on for Craftwork Cards, like right on the homepage, Shona. Yeah, so just click on the Craftwork Cards banner and check out all the deals there, all the discounts. Where do I put everything? I'm running out of room. Let's put some stuff back here behind me so I have more room for later because I'm going to be doing a demonstration. So don't want you to miss out on that. Then we had the, I don't think I'm going in order, sorry, the Go Wild collection. So this was really fun. I don't know, some of you did tune in when we were doing Craftwork Cards uh, Facebook Live with Jillian Cox, which was really fun. It was every Thursday, I believe. Yeah, so we had a lot of fun with Jillian. And so you remember, you might remember the Go Wild collection, which also has a fancy embossing folder, some like cheetah print, animal print hearts. Super cute. And also the stamp die combos. Beautiful. All right, moving right along. Maybe I should, um, I'll, I'll announce the giveaway question in just a bit. So we also have the, where's, where to go? So many, so many collections. <laughs> Sorry guys, a little disoriented because there's so many. Collections, so many deals, and they're all beautiful. Okay, so the next one is the Honey Pot Lane collection. I want to say this is a little bit newer. It's like one of the more recent collections. So this one is really fun, and there's also stamps, which I don't have here to show you, but look how cute that is. 
Look at that little neighborhood. That's so fun. And these are all like hand illustrated, watercolored, absolutely stunning. Look at that detail, beautiful. And these paper pads are eight by eight and they also come with toppers and coordinating colors. Gorgeous, look at that. Mm. This is the Honey Pot um, collection. So you can also get 25% off the complete collection bundle, which comes with the coordinating toppers, the paper pad, and the coordinating cardstock. Eight by eight, eight by eight inches. So you can make some, you can also do scrapbooking. Scrapbooking with that. Beautiful, and then let me show you the coordinating dies and stamps. There's more stamps with this set as well, but I couldn't bring them all because otherwise we would be here all day showing you everything that Craftwork Cards, all the gorgeous designs that Craftwork Cards has released. I love that sentiment right here, that sentiment die. Nope, this one. Nope, this one. It's so cute. What does it say? Sweet, sweet wish, sweet wishes. Adorable, adorable. So make sure to head to Craftstash website, check out those deals on Craftwork Cards, all the deals on Craftwork Cards today. And then we have the Fashionista collection. I don't know if you remember that one. I hope I can get this all on the close-up camera because these stamps are so cute. Look at that, A4 size stamp set. Now there is a 30% off uh, discount on these stamps. So Craftwork Card stamps. 30% off, make sure you take advantage. And then look at that embossing folder. It's so cute, it's little purses with a little bow. Perfect for the fashionistas in your life. And then this is one of my favorite collections, honestly. So pretty, this is from Botanique. And these were also presented on Hachanda. These are stunning, you guys. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Beautiful, look at that. And the dies, 40% off of Craftwork card dies. <laughs> Seriously, these discounts are awesome. So make sure to take advantage. We have limited stock on, I think, everything. Uh, the latest collection, which is Best Day Ever, some of the things sold out on Hachanda. And so we have limited quantities on the Craft Stash website. So make sure to check that out. And let me see what everybody's saying. Back to the comments. Here we go. I don't know why my comments aren't loading. All right, so Facebook is not liking me right now. It doesn't want to load your comments, which is fine. I will switch over to YouTube. We have 24 people watching on YouTube. Hello, welcome. We are here every Friday at 1 p.m. London time. Uh, Mrs. Stationery and stuff says that she loves the perfume bottles. Yes, the perfume bottle uh, stamp image on the Fashionista stamp set. So cute. And then the handbags are gorgeous. Yep. Um, Donna Robertson says, I think we are all the same. Can never have too much stuff. <laughs> Pooja says, we love you at YouTube today. Aww. I love you guys. I seriously missed you guys. I was um, sending some happy Easter messages on the Craft Stash chat Facebook page uh, on Friday, last Friday, because I'm like, I need to tell everybody happy Easter. All right, so moving on. Let me tell you how to enter the giveaway and also to tell you what the prizes are. All right, so Craft for Cards, and then I have to show you one more collection the latest collection from Craftwork Cards. So we are super excited to announce that uh, Craftwork Cards is gonna have its own paper craft collection kit. So you might be familiar with our box kits at Practical Book Publishing. And so it includes uh, a magazine, 68 page ideas magazine, papers, papers and toppers. It has a stamp set, a die set, and an embossing folder or a stencil depending on the collection. So this is the first issue ever for Craftwork cards, and I wanted to show you everything that's included. So we have the Ideas Magazine. Bunch of ideas in here for how to use what's included in your kit. And let me show you, can I show it on the top down, Shauna, because these papers are stunning, and also 
hand illustrated, hand drawn, watercolored, gorgeous. So this is included in the first Craftwork Cards kit that's on sale next Thursday, but I believe you can pre-order that now on the website. Look at these tags, gorgeous. Stunning, stunning. So we have some inspiration from the design team. Oh, I love this one, that's my favorite. Uh, from the design team who uh, contributed all these gorgeous ideas into the magazine, the Craftwork Cards Paper Craft Collection magazine. But um, before I move on to showing you that, let me just also show you. So you get a stamp set. Maybe that will show better on the close up. So you get all those stamps in the kit, these beautiful dies, and also this gorgeous stencil. So that is all going to be inside of the kit and it's valued at over 40 pounds. And we are going to give away five of these kits today to five lucky people during the broadcast. And to enter that, let me just show you some of these samples. They're so cute. Look at that. That's a little cake stand and she used, um, this is from Paula Pascual. She used some acetate on the cake lids, cake stand lids. I hope you can see that. Can you see that all right, Shauna? So cute. So yeah, she used, all, all these cards were made with the first Craftwork Cards card making collection kit. Super excited. And we're gonna be giving five of those away. Crazy, crazy. And to enter that, all you have to do is answer the question in the comments and I'll read these as I'm doing a demonstration in just a bit. Um, what is your favorite Craftwork card collection that has been released to date? Maybe it's something that you saw today. Tell me what your favorite is. And oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I was holding the wrong one, sorry. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. So tell me your favorite Craftwork card collection. Maybe it's the Go Wild. Maybe it's the Fashionista bundle. Maybe it's the Honey Pot uh, collection or Violet Tea or Botanique. And there's also the Grande Florals, which I forgot to share. But let me show that to you. Look how cute that is. So these cards and also this box was made with the collection, paper craft, sorry, fiber cards, paper craft collection, which we're going to be giving away five of these during the broadcast. Hooray, so excited for you. All right. The one I did forgot to show you was the Grande Florals. So these are stamp die combos. Let me just go through those super quick. I feel like this is a little bit rushed today. I'm so sorry. There's just so much I need to show you. So many beautiful things. So again, the stamp, the die stamp combos are 25% off. So I believe these, uh, the Grande Florals, they were originally $8.99, but I think they're six, like six oh seven, something like that. Very close. Check out the prices on the website just to make sure I'm not quoting them wrong. And there's also some great inspiration on the Craft Stash website along with every product. So when you click on the product image, you also get some pictures of some cards and projects made from the Craftwork Cards design team, which I want to give a huge shout out to because they are some of the most talented people, crafty people I have ever met. Some of the cards they they were amazing because they were more like they did cards, but there was also like off the project, um, off the off the project, off the page projects, which were just like jaw dropping. So I wanted to give a shout out to these talented ladies, the Craftwork Cards design team. So we have Elizabeth Hogarth, who we said hello to earlier, Sam Harrison, Judith Mutters, Joe Street, Jill Cox, hi Jill, Debbie Warren, and Sue Taylor. You guys. Are so crafty and talented and you can see their projects again on the craft stash website if you just click on crafter cards and click on any of the products it'll show you the pictures the projects that the design team made get ready to be inspired just even if you just go there to have a browse you'll find you'll be you'll just be inspired from from these ladies so well done. Well done, Craftwork Cards design team. And then we also have some stamps. And I think we're almost closer, closer to the mid before I start my demos. Craftwork card stamps. Tons and tons of stamps I wanted to show you. Um, that one's really fun. This is a Graceful Sentiments. So the stamps, there's 30% uh, off right now. But this one, I think, is my favorite. This is the label tape words. This is so fun. Look at that. 
Oh, is it sideways? Is that upside down? That's upside down. Of course it's upside down. Look how cute those are. So you can make little phrases and there's also uh, for babies, a welcome baby, and there's a girly one for a baby girl. There's this one, the crazy, I think this is Crazy Daisies. So cute. And butterflies and blooms. So again, 30% off of the Craftwork card stamps. And then 40% off of all of the dies. And I just wanted to show these dies super quickly. These are from the Build a Wreath set. Sorry, these two. Nope. This one. No, these two. <laughs> Sorry, it's backwards on my monitor. So these are from the Create a Flower um, collection. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we have some nesting tag dies. So check out the dies. 40% off. Such deals. Deals, deals. So those are, I think those are all of the, I forgot one. Oh, I just forget one. Inky backgrounds, guys. I forgot about inky backgrounds. So another collection there. Let me show these. These are really fun. So many. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And like I said, Craftwork cards have been around for over 20 years. Such sophisticated, classic, and elegant designs. And they have been exclusive to Craft Stash for six months. So we are celebrating, celebrating that. Okay. I think I'm, I'm just going to uh, start getting set up for the demonstrations because we have some fun things to share with you. So this past weekend, Paula Pascual was on Hachanda sharing all about the latest Craftwork Cards release collection, which is best day ever. And these are so fun. I don't know if anybody saw those live uh, when she was presenting on Hachanda this weekend, but they're stunning. So I wanted to show you these, some of these. I'm gonna be doing a demonstration with them in just a bit. So you get these gorgeous dies, so ornate dies with some sentiments and also this little semicircle, which serves as a pocket as well, or just as an additional um, detail, like a little design detail. These can be for all occasion, but they're also kind of like wedding themed, but they can also be for all occasion. So they're super nice and they are a rosy color. The dies are actually like a rosy gold color. So they're really nice. I love this nesting circle die. And then this one is a box, which we have some gorgeous inspiration to share with that. And we also have, again, um, like with the previous Craftwork card collections, we have the paper collection. So it comes with an eight by eight paper pad. And this one has some gorgeous foiling detail in it, as well as papers, sorry, toppers and tags. So let me see if I, you can see the foiling in that. You can see it, all right. And it's got this like muted pastel kind of theme to it. So, so pretty. So elegant, so classy. Don't you think it's so classy, Shauna? Mm -hmm. Super classy. Like thumbs up classy. <laughs> you gotta give me a thumbs up, Shauna. Yay. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. So we've got the best day ever paper collection and then also all these dies. And then we also have some stamp sets, a stamp set that goes with this collection, which I don't have with me, but we are giving away the complete best ever, best day ever collection to one lucky person on the craft stash blog. So you can um, catch the replay if, you know, then you can catch the replay and then head over to the Craft Stash blog, which is craftstash.co.uk forward slash inspiration so that you can enter um, to win this prize bundle. Massive prize bundle. But let me show you some of the things that you can make with this bundle. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I think these are all made by um, the Craftwork Cards design team. So beautiful, and also Paula made some of these as well. Isn't that stunning? So this is again with the Best Day Ever collection. And this is probably, oops, one of our favorites. This is from Judith Mutters. It's like a, um, what do you call this? An embroidery hoop. Isn't that lovely? <gasps> Gorgeous. So one lucky person is going to win this prize bundle. 
Nice little gatefold card with the semicircles in the um, different die sets. Gorgeous. Look at this diorama. This was with the box, box die. With the best day ever box die kit, which you will need an A4 sized uh, die cutting machine just because the largest dies are seven by seven inches. So you will need a bigger, a large format die cutting machine. But look at that. You can make dioramas. Here's a box. So one lucky person is going to get the complete best day ever collection. Super exciting. I love this one. It's so simple, so elegant. Love a little bit of vellum. And then we have this one, this little easel card. Lovely. And then we also have this one, which we wanted to share. So this is also part of the best day ever collection, but I don't have the dies with me, but this will also be, the bunting dies will also be included with the prize bundle. So you'll get the bunting dies and you will get the box kit and the paper, the papers and the stamp sets that I don't have, sorry. Isn't that so fun? Oh my goodness, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we have some more cards up here using the bunting and some more of the best day ever collection. You guys, so many things. Oh my goodness. So. Let me get, there's also a stencil, which I forgot is over here. Best day ever stencil, and I'm gonna be using that in just a bit because you can't see it from there. You can't really see what it is maybe on the close up. Hmm, sort of. You'll see it because I'm gonna use that in the demonstration. <laughs> so let's get crafty. Let me just move some of this stuff out of the way. I don't want to get um, messy. So on top of the best day ever um, collection, there's also some belly band dies, which are massive, but these are really fun to create like belly bands for your cards, or you can also use them uh, for, what do you call it? Like candles, like can you do little candle wraps? Just die cut one and wrap it around a candle. Super nice. These are also on the Craft Stash website. Make sure you check out all of those deals. Deals on deals. And let's move on to the demonstration. I've announced, no, not yet. I already said it. I said the giveaway question, didn't I? I did. <laughs> God, she's scared me. I always forget the giveaway question, and I didn't forget it this time. <laughs> Thanks, Shauna. Oh, you scared me. Really, really scared me there for a bit. <laughs> well done. Well done keeping me on my toes. All right. So the first card that I want to show you how to make is with the, I'm going to be just demoing with the best day ever collection, just to show you. But I'm going to make this one fell in love with this sentiment die. So cute. And I wanted to show you how to get that really nice, vibrant, colorful background. And I also used a stencil. So this is super easy, a quick card that you can make. So let me show you how to do that. Let's see. Actually, first let me read some comments from you. Monica D uh, says that she loves the bunting. Uh, that she thinks it'd be so cute in her little girl's room. Um, Donna Robertson says, wow, the best day ever is amazing. Love it. Can make an awesome 21st birthday card and box for my niece. Yes, yes, yes. Pooja says, it's so difficult to decide which one is her favorite collection. And Uki UK says, everything is beautiful. I hope I said that right. Uki. Uki UK. Uh, Susan Pollock says, oh, I've changed my mind. My favorite has to be the best day ever collection. Just think of the beautiful cards and invites, etc., that you can make. Yes, the best day ever is really nice. And it is uh, like a wedding themed kind of collection, but you can use it for all occasions. And let me check some comments here. Maybe Facebook is my friend again. I don't know. I don't know why it was not helping me earlier <laughs> to read. It was just not being helpful. All right. I think we're okay. Let's see. Yay, it's back. Uh, Sue Nicholson says, beautiful collection, need to make some wedding cards. Yep, Pamela Stubbs says, Go Wild is her favorite collection. Uh, Shelly Allen says, she's gonna have to go look up the bunting dies. Yep, you do, definitely. Uh, Jane Haig says, the belly bands would also look great on a card front, absolutely. Uh, Vicki Metcalf says, that her favorite is the Go Wild collection. She loves all animals and you can make some lovely uh, children's cards and men's card with them. Yep. 
nice, nice. Okay, so keep those comments coming and let's get started on our demonstration. So I'm gonna be using some uh, Spectrum Noir, my Spectrum Noir Sparkle brush pens, which there is a tutorial on the Craft Stash YouTube channel because these were recently released. They're the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Glitter Inks. So this ink is the same, a same type of ink that's in the Sparkle brush pens. So they even have like the coordinating colors. So there's a tutorial on how to use those on the Craft Stash uh, YouTube channel. But I wanted to use them again because they're so nice. I really love the Sparkle, Sparkle brush inks. They're really fun, super vibrant. You can blend them, you can dilute them, and they're stunning, and they also dry with like a glittery kind of sheen, like a sparkle to them, hence the name sparkle. I don't know if you can see that on that card. Let's see. I think you can kind of see. You just, the camera sometimes can't pick it up. It can't pick up the sparkle. That's all right. So I'm going to be using some Spectrum Noir watercolor paper because I find that with the sparkle brush pens that when you use watercolor paper the ink doesn't absorb into watercolor paper as easily as it does with the just regular cardstock so you retain you retain that's a good word you retain the sparkle so I wanted to show you where is my little thing my little swatch I lost my swatch Oh, I'll demonstrate, sorry. That's my little swatch. So I, I did a little swatch on some watercolor cardstock and also some um, regular cardstock. And you get more sparkle if you use watercolor cardstock. So just, if you've been thinking like, oh, maybe I don't need watercolor cardstock, you kind of do, especially when you're working with um, like water soluble kind of mediums, they're really helpful because the color will sit on top. It won't get absorbed into, into your cardstock. I hope that makes sense. All right. So first up, here we go. Oh, I should use this one. All right. So there is my piece of watercolor cardstock. Again, that's from Spectrum Noir. I'm going to put that there so you can see which one it is. I'm going to be using the sparkle brush pens. And the glitter inks are there, same uh, colors, same formula, so beautiful, so vibrant. So what we're gonna do is just grab these. Now the color is in the barrel and you just squeeze, 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 squeeze a little bit and then this gorgeous color comes out. Absolutely stunning, it's so vibrant you guys. I, I don't think it's as vibrant on camera as it is in real life. But I know a lot of you have these brush pens and you absolutely love them as much as I do. And again, when they dry, they have like a little sparkly finish. I'm scared to squeeze out a little bit more ink because sometimes it just comes out too quickly. And then you need to get out your heat tool because it just overflows. But you can uh, dilute this with water. So that's, that's good because then your ink will last. You kind of like can stretch out your ink. So now I'm moving on to, I didn't tell you the color, sorry about that. So I'm using the Glitz and Glamour set. And then I'm being careful about when I open this one. Because sometimes it splatters. <laughs> and that's not fun when you get it on your white top, your white blouse. So just squeezing, just squeeze a little. This is so fun. So easy, easy breezy. And then when they merge, when the colors mix together, you get like a purple, gorgeous purple. And then I feel like you really can't go wrong with these. Just make little swatches, little rectangles. And then I'm moving on to the purple, which I'll put up here. This one's a little juicy. Yeah, I don't wanna to get too much because then I'll have to get my heat tool and it's just easier if I don't squeeze too much out. So, got some nice little, I guess they kind of look like rectangles there. Very vibrant, gorgeous, gorgeous. And when it dries, you can really see the sparkle. All right, and now I'm gonna grab my, I hope I brought 
my brush pen, my water color pen. I did not, how did I not bring it? No. All right, so I was supposed to bring my uh, watercolor brush. I think I have it over here. Sorry guys, bear with me. one sec. Maybe it fell. Any chance? <gasps> you do! Do you have a brush? Yeah. Oh yeah, let me borrow that. Thank you. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> so I have a cup of water. Hooray! <laughs> so I'm just going to dilute to use this one. You would want to use a brush pen, but for the sake of this demo, we'll be fine. So I just dipped it in some water to kind of do a little blending there. So you can see how these colors mix beautifully together. Let me mix it up here too. Just a little bit. I'll just go in circles, small little circles. Nothing too fancy or complicated. All right, get that water out of the way. And then we want to let this air dry a bit. There's a little bit of, it's just a little wet there. I don't know if you can see that. Just a little wetness there, it's all right. It will dry in just a bit. And while that's drying, I can pull out my stencil. So there you can see the best day ever stencil, six by six. Beautiful, beautiful. I am not going to wait for this to dry because we're on a time crunch. So I'm just gonna put the stencil on top of my colorful background. And then I'm gonna grab a baby wipe. Of course, you can use a wet paper towel. All I'm going to do is just take the baby wipe and rub it over my stencil. So because these inks are water soluble, it's going to lift some of that color up just along the stencil here. Not being too precise, but it'll give us a really nice effect. And then we can take this off. How does it look? Yeah, you can see it a little bit. You get some fun little texture there on the background. It came out better on this one. But yeah, just a nice little way to use your stencils. These are so nice. I hope you can see the, um, the glittery shimmery sheen on there. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now I'm definitely going to set this aside. I'm gonna let this dry, and I'm going to pull out my die cutting machine so that I can die cut the Enjoy Today die. Give me one sec, because I made a mess here. These colors are so pretty, but it's the worst when you uh, miss a spot and then you have some really bright sparkle on, on your jeans. <laughs> no, why did this happen to me? Okay. Getting my die cutting machine and I'm using the Big Shot Plus today, which I highly recommend. There it is. All right, and then I'm gonna go set. Enjoy today. So this again is birthday wishes from the best day ever collection. And look at these guys. They're so cool. They're like a rosy gold color. Isn't that cool, Shauna? Ooh. Ooh la la. That's so fun. Okay. And then my platform die cutting platforms, where they are. Let me know if you have used the sparkle brush pens. What you think about them? Do you love them? There's different colors that you can uh, get, of course. And let's see. Need some white card stock. And there is my, uh, oops, I missed it. There it is. Okay, so we're just gonna put our sandwich in there with our dot and our white cardstock and roll that through. 
dies are on the edge of my desk. Sorry, they're making me nervous. I wish I could read comments at the same time. That would be fun. I will definitely read your comments afterwards. Okay. Look at this beautiful, beautiful dye. It's gorgeous. So then this is just gonna go right on top. We can die cut that with a circle die, the circle nesting dies from the collection. So that is perfectly sized for that. That's how I cut this circle here. So I want to show you all of it, but we are running out of time. But what I did next, so there I have my die cut, right? So that goes on top of there. I die cut it out of a circle. And then to make this background here, what I did was I took the half circle. Um, sorry, this one, the half circle die. So that die. And then I took a square piece of cardstock and then I glued it on four times like so, like this glued it down, trimmed off the excess, and then I could just put a sentiment here in the center. That would be a nice card alternate. Uh, but then I added the circle on top. Super easy, and it looks like you have a full panel, like this background is completely full, but it's just an illusion. So either you could do this with a semicircle, put a little sentiment in the center there, or you can add your colorful circle with your Enjoy Today wreath sentiment. What do you think? Oh, and here's another one that I made also. Let me show that on the close-up. So same technique. I use these sparkle brush pens with some water, <laughs> with a proper water brush, and then used the semicircle, the floral semicircle, and the birthday wishes sentiment. So this is, um, the birthday wishes is also from the, this stamp, sorry, not the stamp set, this die set. So beautiful uh, example of everything that you can do with just one die set. You can do different things. You can make a complete background. You can do all sorts. So I hope that was helpful. Hope that inspired you. Uh, hopefully, like I know whenever I see other people crafting, it makes me want to craft, <laughs> which, is, which is funny. So hopefully this has inspired you to get into your craft room uh, tonight or this weekend and get crafty, get inky. If you, can, um, if you want, you can grab these sparkle brush pens on the Craft Stash website and also the glitter inks, which again is the same exact formula that's in the sparkle brush pen. Hope you like that. I think it's time to pick some winners. Where'd my phone go? Shut up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> Does that happen to you in real life too? When you're crafting, you just lose everything. <sighs> All right. Becky Holiday, Becky Holiday says, I get so engrossed in watching, I forget to comment. Love this. The diet is very snippable. Yes, that, yeah, it really is snippable because you can, um, you can trim out the sentiment and just use a sentiment or you can get rid of the sentiment and just use this as a wreath. So a super versatile, wonderful die set. Uh, Maria Husk says, Jeanette, you've inspired me as usual to spend more money. <laughs> Love this range. <laughs> it's all for, for a good cause. Your craft stash has to grow. <laughs> uh, Karen Sharp says, great demo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate it. Lovely. Kelly Smith says, need to tidy up first. Linda Kane says that she loves the colors of these sparkle pens. So vibrant. Hmm. Okay. So, winners, winners. Okay. We've got our winners. Here we go. So the uh, prize that these five winners are going to get, again, is the Craftwork Cards 
the first paper craft collection kit from Craftwork Cards. So you can get the magazine, the stencil, the dies, the stamp set, and also this gorgeous paper, uh, paper pack. So congratulations to these five people. Make sure to send us a Facebook private message with your mailing information, or you can email me, Jeanette, at craftstash.co.uk. Also, don't forget, just wanted to <laughs> announce that we are also giving away the best day ever complete collection. So the dies, the papers, um, and also the stamp sets that I have with me. You can uh, enter that giveaway. After the replay, you can go, once this is over, you can head to the Craft Stash Inspiration blog and enter there. The address for that is craftstash.co.uk forward slash inspiration. Make sure to let your friends know so that they can enter that giveaway there. You have until all, uh, you have all weekend long until Sunday midnight. And also I forgot to mention, sorry, that the discounts, so all the crazy discounts that we have on Craftwork Cards, uh, on all the collections, they are valid up until May 5th. So you only have five days, five days, something like that to make sure you get those deals because those discounts are forever, they expire. So, and also we have limited stocks. So don't forget to check out the Craftwork Cards um, products and collections on the Craft Stash website. All right, here we go. First winner of our Craftwork Cards kit, Vicki Metcalf. She says uh, her favorite is the Go Wild collection and she loves all animals and you can make some lovely children's cards and men's cards with them. Her second winner is Shabniz Khan Mustar. Sorry if I said your name wrong. My favorite Craftwork Cards collection was Flying High. Third winner, Mrs. Stationery and Stuff. Uh, she says she loves the Fashionista as it's completely different from a lot of things I have and it's beautiful. Is that our fourth, fourth winner? Fourth winner, <laughs> Oogie UK. Uh, she loves the Brande florals because uh, flowers can be used for every occasion and everyone loves flowers. And our fifth winner of our Crafter Cards box kit is Lynn Clifton. I still love the Fairyland die and stamp set because I just love making fairy themed cards for post pals. Hooray! Congratulations to those five lucky winners. Oh my gosh. That was a jam-packed show, guys, and I do apologize if it felt a little bit rushed, but we had a lot to get through. Get through. And we also wanted to share all of the crazy discounts and deals on Craftwork cards. And yeah, I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I think we're good. Make sure to, if you want to order the kit, it's on pre-order now, or you can get it on sale next Thursday. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next Friday at 1 p.m. London time. Bye, have a good weekend.